things. Love this video, guys. Love it. Give me thumbs up. I don't get that many of them. It's okay, though. I don't mind. I don't like to tell people what to do. I like it when I get from you the truth, how you really feel. I don't want to make money and <clears throat> get these videos famous and out there. I really don't care about that. It's about me making right human connections, regardless whether you're my friends or enemies. Because that's what they're depriving us of today, guys. Whether you're on their side or against them. It's connection. Real connection. Human connection. We have to use these stupid fucking electronic machines to even communicate with each other now. So they can listen and know everything we're saying. And deprive us of a real human connection. So this hexagon thing, they didn't just do it to me. They're doing it to you too. To them. The ones that are stalking me. Because they're depriving us of contact. Because I'll be more good to them than they are to them. That's why. But there's a reason why they're doing this. Why they set up this division system. They're not stupid. They're evil. In the end, they are the stupidest. But more than that, they're super evil. Because they're the stupidest. And the weakest. So... I can prove much, but in, in the earlier videos that I uploaded, but I will link this video straight to the intro, five minute intro that I promised you I was going to prove to you something about the noise, noise implementation in my surrounding. So I will upload this for you soon. It's going to be, I'm going to try to combine all of them together. But the problem, if I do that, you will lose quality because you have to enter it into the video pad editing system. I don't want to do that. So I'll keep them divided and I'll make them parts. Because that way, you'll get better quality. You can hear the noises better. I'm using a Samsung A5. It's got a, it's got a pretty good camera in it. That's the reason why I like this phone. I bought it and sold it three times. Well, no, the first one was stolen. They sent me that girl to... That she tried to delete my YouTube channel and delete these videos. I had to sleep with the enemy. Sorry, guys. You know? And... It's, it's, you know, sometimes you're in a bad situation, but she was merely an assassin, not the physical type, but, well, could have been that way too. Um, do you guys know where the word assassin comes from? I mentioned that in another video before. It comes from the Arabic word, hashashin, right? Hashashin, assassin. It comes from that word, hashashin comes from the word hashish, which is hash, drugs, right? Now, this guy, apparently, the story goes, I'm going to lighten up the end of this video. This guy, the story, that's what it says, in the Arabic world someplace, I don't know where, Babylon days, no, the Arabs weren't around back then, yes, yes, I know I'm microchipped. So, this guy, which is a dog on a leash, that's why I said that. This guy was rich. He had this nice uh, villa on top of a hill. And all these poor people would come up to his place. He'd invite them in. He'd feed them good. <clears throat> Big table, meat, chicken, whatever. Right after that, he'd smoke them some hash. Then after that, they go to the pool where there's a harem, you know, lots of women there or whatever inside the pool. And then he sits them down after that session, after that luring, enticing session. He goes, I want you to be to work for me. Well, what do you want me to do? I will give you this every day or every, or every time you could do something for me. What is it? I need you to kill someone. So how did he lure the people and turn them into killers? By offering them the pleasures of life. The physical pleasures of life. So, in other words, he turned them into assassins. That's why they, it comes from hashashin, because they used to smoke hash. So, he turned them into assassins and got them to kill for him. Now, we could call that guy, what, the devil? That's what it is, pretty much, in the end. Our physical demonic uh nature for when, when, when we want to do that now if you look at all these cars that passed me they make a certain kind of noise do you know why 
because you have to go at least 70 or 80 look at how fast the bus is coming you guys know that ETC is in on it too he released his brake everything everything in my surrounding regardless cops everything but they select a certain kind to do this not all the ones that work there there has the Freemasons the ones that know about it don't say it to the others about 10 to 15 percent of the environment anyways so if you look at the people the way they look at me the look they give me it's this depressing angry look so you can feel dim and miserable the whole time cars turning around me fast making noises so what was I saying to you that distracted me about what were we talking about the hashashin no we finished with that um I forgot well, it's a good thing I can even still function with all this madness around me. Oh, the cars. For the cars to make that kind of noise, if they go 40, 50 clicks or even close to 60, they won't make that. They have to go 70 or 80 for you to hear this. They have to. So they go a certain speed. That's how you know all the cars are in on it. They're all the same and they come in packs the way they're spread out and in intervals one after the other. I was craving this noise of this dose of noise I needed it I haven't had any in about two hours right how long have I been recording for boy have I craved a dose of noise <laughs> what more can I prove to you guys tell me what more can I prove to you than I have today is it is there a point to make videos anymore we're gonna get this those microchips out because then I won't experience any of this. None of it. None. None. It'll be quiet. I'll go into the stores. I'll see normal looking people that will treat you like a human being. That won't move when you talk to them. That you won't say, I need a Demoria light. They'll say, oh, one second. They'll pretend they're picking up something off the floor. Then they'll ask you again, what was that? Was it Demoria light? They make you repeat yourself. All these tactics that they do to you. To keep you annoyed. Keep asking the same question 10 times. Moving. Coughing. Uh, pretend they're doing something, ignoring you when you ask them a question and then say, oh, sorry, what was that? To make you repeat it again. Talk to you in a very low voice you could barely hear so you can ask them again, sorry, I didn't hear you, what was that? All these little tactics that they put with you, these motherfuckers inside the stores, they're not human beings, that's their crew. I can prove to you how they talk to me and clog up the store with people before you get in, after you get in, when you come out, when you go in. That's not a life. That's a setting, it's a ritual to annoy the living fuck out of you. The stupid hexagon, a hex, to lock you, microchip you and lock you in this bubble everywhere you go to turn us into slaves, whether we like it or not. And all these professionals out there that brag about them being respectable, bull fucking shit. Who microchipped me? A professional doctor. So do not respect this bullshit society that you're in. It's still a jungle, but this time it ain't ruled by the lions. It's ruled by rats that want to act like they're wolves. Because wolves don't fucking microchip you behind your back. Rats do that. Look at their faces, most of them. They look like rats. Do not believe this thing about... It's got nothing to do with the way we look, guys. I'm not insulting anybody the physical look. It all depends on the kind of person you are. But I'm giving you a general idea of what these societies are made out of. Advanced and technology and more civilized. We ain't more fucking civilized. We can never be more civilized. We were more civilized back then because at least we had contact with each other as human beings. We treated each other good. There was happiness. Now we're all divided, all stuck into a fucking room with a fucking digital computer thought to be our company and our fucking sex machine. So men can sit there, watch porn and jerk off and women get lonely and not trust men because they keep hearing these stories about this man raped his whatever, this guy hit, hit his wife, this guy killed his daughter. Bullshit, guys. A lot of these stories are fabricated to divide us. That's nothing but negative misinformation to keep us all enslaved and divided and hating each other and disconnected. This is today's current situation. That's what we're going through. And that's the reason why I was microchipped. 
because I can raise light on that issue. That's the truth. That's what they want. Negativity and negativity, and they're dividing us. And kids, kids, parents don't even see their kids anymore. They're all attached to this fucking crap. This technological bullshit that's, that's mind controlling them from the time they're, they're frigging one years old now. So, in light of all this information tonight, I had a lot of fun making this video. I feel amazing. I always have throughout the whole time. I didn't feel, I felt a little bit of irritation at certain points, but overall, overall I'm frustrated. I want to come out of this prison, but it's okay. Uh, I'm managing for now. I have new hope. Um, I know in certain places that I can go to that I can get away from this. Whether they decide to really physically kill me, they'll do me a favor. This is worse what I'm going through. I'll accept that. Whether they decide to come up with some kind of bullshit charge to charge me with and imprison me, any prison is better than this motherfucking prison. At least there won't be teasing irritation there. <laughs> Think about it. This is the worst prison you could be in. You're seeing everything, but you can't touch. Look, but don't touch. At least inside a real prison, you don't see shit. You get it? This is the kind of prison I'm in. Look, crave, desire. It's going to get flashed in front of you over and over again all day long, but you can't touch. What kind of prison could be worse than this one? How can you threaten me with prison when I'm in the worst fucking prison on the planet ever in the human history through technology? How can you threaten me with death when I've been feeling like I'm dead for the last 43 years? I've been living dead. That's how dumb our fucking idiot, fucking stupid person that created the system is. But because he's not a human being, that's why he doesn't understand these things. So guys, it's been great. I'm going to have another smoke. We had a nice recording today. As soon as I went out to the major streets, you saw the constant car attacks. Not much people, but constant guys on this street at this time on a Saturday night. Trust me, you will not see that many cars. Never mind the way they're driving. Just the amount, you will not see it. So I'm looking that way now, they have to move. So the guy with the red shirt flicked his cigarette. The guy with the pink shirt walked up. As soon as I looked that way, these guys are going to move, look. Because I'm looking at them. But that's their job, it's a setting. They're set up there to move when I look at them. It's fucked up, I know, but... How else can I say it to you but the honest way? So, from the information that I have given you today, look, look where they put the, to throw me off. Those things that they put on the floor for me, usually look where they put them. For me to follow them and film them for you guys. Those construction things, look, look where it is. You can't see it, it's dark. You know those construction things that they put on the floor, those orange things? Look where it is. You can't see it. It's too dark. I don't know if this thing has flash in it. Let me see if we could see it this way. Yeah, we could see it this way from the light. It's put over there like a hat on the board. Who cares? Anyways. So. You have a bunch of people that surrounded me for 23 years that made money of torturing me because they know where I am through my microchip. Now, what do I think of human nature? Um, they're still out there trying to torture me too. What do you think of human nature this way, of all these people that are sent out here to torture me? Whatever, whichever way they're supposed to move or whatever. Guys, we are vessels. We're nothing but mere vessels the bus it's like he's racing we're vessels we could be used for good or for bad the weakest of us will be turned quickly the strongest won't whether if it's something bad and there's everything in between 
We're energy vessels. A lot of us are in the middle. They could be turned to ice quick and they could be turned to fire quick. A lot of us are pure ice. Some of us, sorry, very few of us are pure ice. Very few of us are pure fire. And, you know, there's the in-between, the different colors between the black and the white. So, what I think of human nature is this, nothing more. The, you have to understand, if you're on either side, the ice or the fire, especially the fire, you're going to be provoked with the ISIS army, which is this one. If you kill the army, you won't be able to get the head. What would you have done then? Nothing. You would have lost badly. Do you have to try to get the army to not hurt you and you not hurt them and find a way to get to the head and decapitate the fucking guy? You got to decapitate the head of this bad organization. Not physically. I'm not talking here about, you know, but you have to be able to come out of this prison that you're in prison in. That's how you decapitate it. Because I'm the kind of guy that wants to be left alone. Because I'm competent. I'm not the kind of guy that doesn't want to leave the other alone. Like I always tell you, there's only two kinds of people in this world. People that want to be left alone because they have what it takes. And the ones that don't want to step on the other to feel value. They want to trap them and enslave them and enchain them. So they can feel value. So they can rise. Because while the other guy's around, they can't rise. Because that guy's made that way from birth, from the factory, straight out of the factory. It's a real machine. It's an original machine, not a fabricated one. It's not a copy. And the world's always like this. It is like this today. It was like that when it first started. Us as human beings and our human condition, human nature. <clears throat> But today it's worse because there's technology. And the main idea of creating technology, the main intention, yes, technology has served us a lot. It's done a lot of great things. But the intention at the base, at the root, is to enslave us with it. To mind control us, know everything about us, and lock us into this one after we get microchipped like what they've done to me. This is the ultimate goal of these guys. Because then you can't do anything. You're fucked. They control your bank account. You have no money. That's what they're doing to me. Look at the war that they waste on me. Look at the videos on my channel. How they deplete my bank account. They want to kick me out of the apartment. Now I barely have enough money to take a cab anywhere. What can I do? Surrounded with this madness everywhere. They have cars. I'm walking. Now imagine if they were walking, I had a car. This wouldn't happen. They're not allowing me to get my license back. Can't do anything. I can't even buy a bicycle. I showed you in another video how I was downtown. There was a bicycle shop and a whole bunch of other stores. All the other stores were open and the bicycle shop was closed. I'm not even allowed to buy a bicycle. That's worse than dictatorship, guys. This is the so-called free world that we live in. And it doesn't matter where. It's not the States in Europe. Don't fall for that scam. They're making you waste your time and waste your energy on meaningless things. They're all controlled by the same entity. This one that controls me. All the countries worldwide. The leaders are up there, are having wine and orgies, and we're eating shit down here. That's exactly what's going on. Regardless, the religion, that's all bullshit. Now they're making noise for me. They got a kid to come and play basketball at night by himself. They have to keep the noise element happening. That's why I got this phone. Because I can't zoom in like that with a small camera. By himself. He could have played any other sport. Who plays by himself shooting basketball hoops at Saturday night at 10? And shows up here at the same time I show up. What do basketball, what does that make noise? From the right and the cars on the left. They have to make up for the piece that I had back there. They have to give me my dose of noise. I live inside the machine. I'm hexed. Somebody put a hex on me, a microchip in my eye. That's connected to all my surroundings. 
so I could keep getting tortured all day long and hearing noise and movement so they can deprive me of my energy and vitality and youth and block me from getting anywhere, from getting a job, moving forward, building a home, a family. This is what was done to me. And this machine started for me from birth because my parents were a part of that entity. I was an orphan, I was given to them. That's why my real life is the Truman Show. But they didn't have technology back then, so they had to do it with people in my area that surrounded me. I was a kid. What am I going to do? Go on a bike and take off? In time, they might chip me so they can have better control of me when the technology was ready in the mid-90s. When I did my eye surgery, the corrective laser eye surgery, and then I did the other one in 2002, the left one. Now, who do I blame? The fake parents they gave me that didn't teach me anything, didn't warn me? I can't. I have to blame the source. Because if you don't fight the source, you lose. Everybody else in between was just an element. If you waste your time fighting the element, you ain't never going to get to the source. Right? Get entangled with the small element and make yourself problems. You'll never get to the source. You got to ignore the element and bypass, find the source. That's how you get out of it. Otherwise, you're wasting your time, right? Look at that row of cars. It's a gang of rats. So tonight in this video, I showed you elements of noise, talked to you about GPS, assassins, all kinds of information. That should be at least, if I get knocked or assassinated or whatever from what they're doing to me, at least I benefit, I've benefited a couple of people out there with information. You know what I mean? I got nothing to lose. They purposely go over these to make noise, the cars. Boom, boom. The bus drivers, the TTC, when I get on the bus, they pur purposely pick all the potholes to go into, overuse the signals, overuse the cash machine, keep banging it, uh, drive like crazy to give me the most uncomfortable ride on the planet. Purposely. And inside the bus, I get irritated the whole time by the people around me. So the rituals to drain you of your energy there's big architecture implemented into these rituals right from the top by microchipping us, controlling us, and creating every single store or place we go to, business, public, government institution, whatever, to be a ritual in there. They're not the real workers. They replace them, and they pace and ask you weird questions. They just annoy the shit out of you. You come out of there depleted. So they've turned a normal place into a ritual with the help of your microchip because they know where you are as soon as you leave your house they start flipping the people along your path so you don't meet the real people you get blocked into a maze and they do rituals on you in every setting that you go into I have proof all over my channel watch all my videos we're run by a satanic entity on top our presidents, prime ministers don't have that much power. They are run by the same entity. It's the people that control the money that run them. Now, I know you hear this information a lot out there from David Icke, a lot of big people that tell you this information. And they're doing a good thing and a bad thing. I'll tell you what the good things are. They're giving you information, but the information they're giving you is too late for you to find out now. They should have given it to us 50 years ago. The information that you need today is what I'm giving you. Do not do... LASIK, laser surgeries for your eyes. In every body surgery that you do, be careful. Because the most respected doctors out there are the ones that are microchipping us. Without our consent, illegally. This is my last message for you guys tonight before I go. I'm going to title these something really good. Microchip, GPS, a whole bunch of information. I'm going to make a series out of them. Four, five, six, I don't know how many. So... These people start to move when I come into the building, all the neighbors, everything. It's a, the whole thing, the whole area is an experiment done on me. The whole area. 
they're not just real residents. They're workers. Every single one of them has a receiver, a microchip, like the one I have. I have the transmitter, they have the receiver. So when I look at them, they move and make the noise. And they sit there and wait. They're getting paid by this entity. So it's not just normal residents. All these things are supposed to happen in front of me as I get there. The movement, the noise, you know. But I pretend like it's nothing in front of them. What can I do? Make enemies with them? I don't think so. Go ahead. All right. You have to do that. You have to see the bright side of them and forget about the dark side. It's the only way you can move forward. Because you have to take them as big as their mind is. You know? Some people do not have a greater understanding, the real idea of what they're doing. Yes, I know I'm microchipped. Every time I see a dog on a leash, I'm going to say that because I see them all day long. That's why that's the idea. So, I'm very proud of these videos, guys. I'm going to rest, have a nice dinner, try to get some early sleep, and new battle tomorrow. It's battles for me. There's no rest. There's no pleasure. There's no leisure time. It's only battling, battling, and battling. So let's see how long I can keep this up for, keep my energy. Don't let these vampires suck it right out of me. Try to ignore them as much as I can. I usually do, but I'm recording a video, so I have to point out certain elements for you. I usually don't even look at them. I'm looking at the space and thinking about my goal to remove these frigging chips. So it's been great making this video. Have a good night. Let's see if we get a surprise here before I get to my door. I usually don't lay it. They've been laying off it, but they still put those cards either here or there. Red ones, green ones, objects in front of me. And they still pretend to give flyers. They know that nobody lives here. So every time I leave my house, I have to look at a yellow flyer in front of me. You guys know all about the colors and objects in front of you in your setting, right? When you watch all my other videos. Have a good night, guys.